Now at 11, Governor Brian Kemp will appeal a federal ruling blocking our state's restrictive abortion law. A federal judge calls the so-called heartbeat law unconstitutional. Hope Ford spoke with, uh, with advocates on both sides of this debate. And what is the governor saying about this tonight, Hope? Well, Governor Kemp says that he does plan to appeal because he said, quote, Georgia values lives and they will continue fighting for the unborn. Now, pro-life and pro-choice advocates both tell me that they, too, plan to keep fighting all the way up to the Supreme Court. Women deserve autonomy over our bodies. We need to stop targeting those very real persons inside the womb. It's a back and forth that's continued since before and after Roe v. Wade, the 1973 landmark decision establishing a woman's legal right to an abortion. But Georgia put the spotlight back on the battle when the heartbeat bill passed last May. The law banned abortions after a fetal heartbeat was detected about six weeks into a pregnancy. Now, a year later, a federal judge threw it out. Anyone with a basic understanding of our Constitution recognize that the way that the law was written and passed, it was completely unconstitutional. Tamara Stevens is with the Handmaid's Coalition, a pro-choice group that protested the original bill during the 2019 legislative session. It's not something that should ever be legislated by a bunch of men under the gold dome. But Suzanne Guy, who supported the bill during the same session, says what happened in the gold dome safeguards the rights of unborn children. Those children deserve to be protected under the laws the way that any human being deserves to be protected. Stevens objected to Kemp's plan to appeal, calling it a waste of taxpayer dollars. Wasting more, more time and money um, that the state of Georgia desperately needs right now during this economic crisis. But Guy is encouraged by Kemp's fight and hopes it leads to the law becoming permanent. Preborn children deserve rights and protections because they are persons. And political analysts say this case uh, could likely go to the 11th Circuit Court and then possibly on to the United States Supreme Court. You know, Hope, as you know, Georgia was one of several states making headlines for passing similar laws last year. similar laws in other states that are currently also being challenged federally. And today, uh, the, today's ruling marks about two weeks after a uh, similar law in Louisiana was thrown out by the Supreme Court. That law would have left just one doctor in the entire state to perform abortions.